Hello guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Microsoft Planner versus Doodoo. Which one should you choose? So you're probably wondering which one's actually worth it using and which one fits better into your workflow. So in this case, uh, at first glance, they might seem similar here, but both are productivity tools made by Microsoft. So both are designed to help you get things done. So both play nice with Microsoft 365, but under the hood, they're really built for different types of tasks and people. So let's go and discuss a few things here. So first, what even are Microsoft Planner and Microsoft to do here? So in this case, Microsoft Planner is more of a team-based task management, which in this case is a tool that's like a lightweight version of Trello or Asana, which is something really cool here. And uh, in this case, you create plans, which are essentially like boards. And inside those, you can create tasks, assign them to team members, and set due dates, add labels, comments, attachments, all those good stuff, and whole package. Now, if you're working on a project with other people, especially in a corporate or collaborative environment, well, this is where Planner actually shines. Now, with Microsoft to do here, it's more of a personal task manager here, or uh, in this case, management app. So think of it as like your daily to do, but supercharged. It's like great for individuals who want to organize their work or life task here, whether it's shopping lists, work checklists, reminders, or goals. It's what you'd open first thing in the morning to figure out what you're going to do today or that day, which is a that kind of tool here. So even though both are task management tools, their use cases are actually pretty different. Now, in this case, let's talk about how they feel to use. And in this case, the user experience. Now, if you like visual layout, like uh, Kanban boards, so think like columns to do, to, uh, to do, doing, and done, then planner is your thing. Each plan you create shows up as a board and you can move tasks between columns, which Microsoft calls as buckets. It's a really natural way to visualize the progress of your project, especially if you're someone who likes seeing everything in, at a glance. Now, to do on the other hand is all about list. Now, you can create different lists for different contexts like work, personal, groceries, or project X, or something similar to that, and then add tasks under each one. So it's actually minimalistic, clean, and uh, distraction-free. So you can even start uh, start tasks as important, set two dates, add reminders, and break tasks into steps. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes checking things off a list, to do is super satisfying. So yeah, planner is equal to team boards, and to do is equal to personal lists, which in this case, two different vibes here. Now, uh, what are the features here? Do they actually overlap? So surprisingly, they actually overlap here. Both app lets you like set due dates, attach files, add notes, create tasks and subtasks, and also set reminders here. So the to do is more focused on, on this. But yeah, the planner takes in a step a step further when it comes to collaboration. So you can assign tasks to specific team members, tag them, leave comments to, for each uh, other, and track task progress across the entire plan. It also integrates with Microsoft Teams, which is really well here. Like uh, your Teams using Teams already, so Planner fits right in, even shows up as a tab in your Team channel. Now, to do Winwall is more focused on syncing across your own devices. Your tasks show up on your to desktop, phone, tablet, whatever you log in. Now, it has this cool feature called My Day that lets you handpick tasks you want to focus on that day, and it's like your DD game plan. Now, again, uh, Planner is all about managing tasks with others. What to do is more about managing tasks for yourself. So, yeah, what about the uh, which one is better for teams here if you're uh, wondering about that? Well, in this case, there's no contest here. Uh, planner all the way. If you're uh, working on a group project, share goals, campaigns, anything where you need to track responsibilities and actual progress. Well, in uh, in this case, um, it's uh, Planner is going to be uh, the go-to for uh, this one. Now, you uh, like for example, uh, if you have multiple people involved in the single task, uh, you can track like status updates here. You can just give better bird's eye view of everything that's happening on your team. Now, to do does have the ability to share lists with other people, but it's not built for full-blown projects or project management. Now, think of more like you and your partner sharing a grocery list or you and your coworker sharing a small list of follow-up items. That's where the collaboration and to do makes sense. But for more than that, it starts to feel limited here. So what about the personal productivity here? Now to do takes the win here. So it got it it's got the, it just enough features to keep you organized without feeling 
overwhelming. They can create recurring tasks, add reminders, group related tasks into different uh, group related tasks into different lists, even connected to Outlook or so flag email show up automatically in your task list. Now, in this case, end up my day features, it's actually a game changer. So you can go through all your existing tasks here each morning, pick one uh, once to focus on that day and start fresh. It's a great way to avoid decision fatigue and then stay fo and stay focused as well. Now, this case planner on the contrast here doesn't really care about personal workflow. It assumes you're managing things as part of the group. So there's no my day, no personal dashboard unless you're deep into Microsoft project or something similar. But yeah. Now, you might be wondering, can they actually work together? Well, the simple answer to that is yes. It's actually quite interesting here. The Microsoft actually lets you uh, these two tools talk to each other. So, well, kind of. Like, if you're using both apps under the same Microsoft account, you can actually see your assigned planner task inside Microsoft to do. And yeah, if someone assigns you a task in Planner, it will show up into two lists under Assigned to Me, which is something really cool here. So that means you could technically manage your personal tasks and your team uh, uh, team assigned tasks in one place using to do, which is kind of a genius here. So if your company uses Planner like to do for personal stuff, you don't have the uh, have to constantly switch between two accounts. They integrate pretty smoothly here again because they're on their micro the Microsoft environment here. That's why they're able to talk to each other. So you might be wondering which one should you choose. So here's the thing: you don't necessarily have to choose here. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Now, if you're an individual looking to organize your day, stay on top of personal goals and keep things light and simple, then go with Microsoft To Do. It's perfect for personal productivity, great for solo freelancers and uh, students and busy parents here, basically anyone managing their own world. Now, if you're working with a team, especially with in a professional or business setting here, you're going to want Microsoft Planner. It gives you the structure and transparency you need to manage collective work, see who's doing that, what, and make sure deadlines don't slip through the cracks. Now, if you're doing both, use both. Let Planner handle the team stuff. Let to do manage your own workload. The integration makes it easy to juggle both uh, worlds without dub uh, doubling your effort. So, yeah. So in this case, Microsoft really nailed it in, in, by making these tools to do what they do best. And they didn't try to force one app to be everything for everyone. So instead of trying to stretch personal app into a team tool or vice versa here, just use each of what is designed to do. Now, if you're Microsoft, uh, uh, if you're in Microsoft ecosystems already, now using Outlook, Teams, or Microsoft 365, both Planner and To Do here will feel like natural extensions of how you already work. So yeah, so in this case, anyway, that I hope that actually clears a few things here, uh, and what these different uh, apps or platforms actually do. But in this case, uh, that's about it. So uh, hopefully, this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Lena. Thank you for watching.